If experts tell us that the 250,000 plus immigrants that have been coming to Canada every year for the past 20 years are having a negative economic impact on Canada, why is our government not turning down the tax? Yes, Canada's current birth rate is far below the 2.1 ratio that is required to maintain our population, and many other countries are experiencing a similar decline. It's concerning because we know the negative impacts this will have on our workforce, our ability to support our aging population, health care, pension benefits, and much more. But sadly, our Canadian government is one of the few in the world that lives under the false security that any shortfall in birth rate can be made up for by increasing immigration. And experts reveal that it cannot. So what ulterior motives can be causing our governments to be acting in the way that it does? And what should they be doing instead? The organization Immigration Watch Canada isn't afraid to point out the truth. Every major political party in Canada pretends that its policies are helping people in the rest of the world and that this annual flood of immigration is enriching Canadian society. When in reality their policies are intended solely to help each of their parties get a share of the immigrant vote. That's it. In a 250,000 a year that's a substantial block of voters. For a politician to dare to question this open-door policy towards immigration would soon have them categorized as a bigot. And most feel that taking such a stance would jeopardize their political career. A further travesty is the fact that this flood of immigrants is coming through a broken immigration system. We can thank God our current immigration minister has had the sense and the boldness to admit that they are now targeting 6,500 immigrants for fraud alone. Because that news reveals a broken system. And with over 250,000 immigrating to Canada every year, and only a small fraction ever having to undergo any kind of a security check, we could say with confidence that 6,500 is only the tip of the iceberg. Yes, carefully selected immigration will benefit Canada. But you've been lied to about the benefits of this mass immigration that's going on. It's bad for our economy and it's allowing dangerous people to walk the streets of our neighborhoods. CHB Canada is on side with the economists, the statisticians and the academics. The people whose business it is to research and study these questions and who are telling Canadians that this mass immigration does not benefit the economy. Isn't it puzzling that their findings receive little mainstream media coverage? Could it be that CBC receives $1.1 billion from the government so they choose to overlook this? This government charade is costing Canadians billions each year and it's making Canada less safe for all Canadians. So what's the real answer to our aging and declining population? Studies conducted by experts like C.D. Howe Institute, Fraser Institute, confirm that there are greater financial, economic, and social benefits by shifting the priority in population management away from immigration and towards domestic growth. Their studies clearly show that since the very survival of our Canadian heritage is at stake, it is of paramount importance that the political solution be aimed immediately towards domestic growth. In other words, let's start taking care of the people we have in Canada and supporting the growth of Canadian families. The CHP agrees. Our policies have always championed enhancements to domestic growth. And we know that the most important building block for domestic growth is a strong traditional family unit that's having children. Governments must start focusing on the family in order to have a vibrant society. Young married couples deserve to be informed of the importance of contributing to society through raising children and the government must ensure that they can afford to do so. You know Canada should adopt our CHP Family Care Allowance Plan 
For those families who choose, it would provide $1,000 per month to allow a parent in each family to care for their own children at home. Instead of trying to provide institutional daycare with both parents working outside the home. It would also afford a family member to leave the workplace to care for an aging parent or a disabled family member. This policy alone would help reduce the stress of having both parents working. It would reduce bullying, give Canada's young children a greater sense of security. It would make our streets safer. Nothing can replace the social benefits of parental child care, supported family care for elderly parents, and personalized care for disabled family members. The CHP promotes lower housing costs so families can afford to shelter more children. The CHP would commence a transition to the fair tax system, which would replace the unfair income tax with a consumer regulated sales tax and provide for a much larger take home pay for families with a single earner. The CHP would allow for income splitting for single income couples until the transition to fair tax is complete. The CHP would set up an efficient adoption system. We need to eliminate the unnecessary government bureaucracy and the legal barriers preventing families from adopting children. Currently, Canadian couples wishing to adopt a baby find it easier to pay ten to thirty thousand dollars to adopt a child from overseas. Yet our government continues to permit the death of over a hundred thousand Canadian babies every year through abortion at taxpayers' expense. Then, in turn, bring in 250,000 immigrants, costing us billions again. Saying we need mass immigration is a political lie for political gain, and it's hurting every Canadian. Mass immigration is showing its ugly consequences with thousands of fraudulent entries finally being reported. You know, and investigations will continue to uncover thousands more. It shouldn't surprise anyone that radical Islamists are starting to push their very anti-Canadian culture of Sharia law and honor killings onto Canadians. Sharia threatens our heritage and our freedoms, including those of Muslim Canadians. These Islamic radicals have been having a field day coming through our gates unhindered for 20 years. In order to protect our citizens and preserve our culture and heritage, CHB Canada is committed to strengthening our nation's most important building block, the Canadian family. We'll stop uncontrolled mass immigration and focus on strengthening the family unit here at home. Canada needs to foster a caring environment for the young and the very young so that our working families can support our, deser our deserving seniors. A made in Canada generation is the foundation for healthy domestic growth and the future of our nation. Mm -hmm.